so great to see that smiling face of yours. And today, we have a three minute review in front of us. Or, well, we're gonna try to get through it in three minutes. Now, I've been around long enough that, guys, I probably owned and tested at least 50 camera bags over the years. Many of the bags I've had my hands on have been from companies you've definitely heard of. We're talking about the Vanguards, the Peak Designs, and the F-Stops of the world. But every once in a while, I come across a bag from a company that impresses the heck out of me. Guys, today I want to talk to you about such a bag. I do want to mention I did not buy this bag. This bag was given to me to test out for a review. Now, during this review, I'm not going to hold any punches, guys. You're going to hear both the things that I like and also the things I don't like. So let's start the timer and get going. The bag I want to discuss with you today is this guy. The pillbox from a company down here in Southern California called Hazard 4. Now, if you've never heard of Hazard 4, you really need to. Guys, Hazard 4 has been around for about 15 years and is one of the most well-known brands in the tactical and adventure circles. But I've gotten to know these guys in the last couple months and a more dedicated team you will not find. As you can see, guys, this sucker is incredibly rugged. That's because it's built to military specs. Because of the ruggedness, this bag is perfect for landscape and nature photographers that need a bag that can stand up to the elements. After all, if it's designed to be used by special force recon teams in a war zone, I think it can handle a little rain and a little mud. Now the hard shell also protects against impacts that keep your gear safe. In addition to the supreme level of durability, this bag is hugely versatile. For one, the patent modular organization of the bag allows you to customize what you carry and how you carry it depending on your specific needs. Secondly, you can attach tons of things to this bag because Hazard 4 has implemented an ingenious patented hardpoint system that can be used to attach optional bungees, lights, panels, loops, rails, and other hardware. These additional attachment points allow you to carry things like your tripod on the exterior of the bag. What's more, there's military modular webbing and Velcro panels all over this bag, which means you can add holsters, pouches, patches, and other accessories that extend its versatility and functionality even further. All Hazard 4 packs have a thermoformed back panel that can be take a laptop, tablet, or a hydration bladder. The pillbox here actually can take both. Now, let's talk about the comfort of this bag. Obviously, comfort is a huge factor when buying a camera bag, and the pillbox definitely delivers. Now, I stuffed this thing with as much gear as I could, and guys, I wore it for hours and hours. Despite all that weight, I was comfortable all day long. The cool part is its size well, which helps hug your body as you walk, kneel, sit, and so forth. It's incredibly lightweight when it's empty. A lightweight camera bag, guys, can make a world of difference on how the bag feels on your shoulders as the day drags on. Now, I'm a bit of a gear snob, so when I'm looking at a new camera bag, I'm looking at the stitching, guys, and I'm looking at things like the quality of the zippers. This bag definitely delivers top marks for the construction. I like the durable 1000D Cordura fabric and the YKK zippers are heavy duty and they open and close quite easily. This bag also has patented hardware like the roto locking buckle that speaks to the ingenuity and the dedication of the hazard for in creating a bag that is the utmost build quality. On top of that, this bag is affordable. It's $180 at the time of this recording. So that's kind of a broad overview of some of the best features of this bag. Now let's take a look at how I have this bag configured. Okay, I'm going to go through a basic configuration of how I have this bag set up. Uh, I have my ProMedia gear tripod strung through the webbing in the back. Remove that first. As you can see, this webbing Okay, actually, what I'll do is I'll show you have this sleeve right in here. And of course, I have a switch pod and some filters. Okay, so as you can see, the space is really used up quite wisely. We have a Canon EOS R here, we have the Nikon Z7 here. Obviously, we have a drone, one additional lens, we have two additional batteries, more batteries, and memory cards up here, the controller, and an additional lens. So it's quite compact. So as you can see, it really works quite well. This bag has a lot to offer. In my opinion, has a long list of awesome features, but a proper view can't be all sunshine and roses. And there are a couple things with this bag that should be noted as cons. First, the aesthetics aren't for everybody. I personally think this bag looks badass, but I think that might be because of my military background. In all fairness, all the hard point accessories rely on the hard shell deck, which is why it looks the way that it does. The looks guys are a matter of function and this thing is super functional, that's for sure. I think of it like this. You don't buy a Humvee or a Jeep because they're the most beautiful vehicles around. Instead, you buy them for purpose, durability, off 
off-road capabilities, and so forth. Now, this bag is the same thing. It's not the most beautiful bag in the market, but it's purpose-built for hardcore photography adventures. It is rough, tough, and guys can simply do things that other bags cannot. The second critique I have for the pillbox is that I wish it came with more dividers and configuration options. Though I appreciate the modular design, I found that with my kit, additional dividers would have been useful. Likewise, since I have three different camera systems, tons of different lenses, drone, and other gear, having more configuration options would be nice. Now, don't get me wrong, the bag really works great for me, and you can purchase extra dividers, pouches, and accessories if you need them, which I have obviously have not done so. Now, I'm just spitballing some ideas here for how to make the bag a little bit more functional for my purposes. At the end of the day, I think Hazard 4 has really hit a home run here. Is the bag perfect? No but I don't think you're gonna find a more tougher, durable bag than this thing. Now, if you're like me and you find yourself in the woods, crossing streams on top of mountain, in the rain, snow, and in the wind, looking for the ultimate shot, guys, the Hazard 4 Pillbox should be on your radar for sure. Besides, they have a sling pack version of these and in different colors and grades of material from the 1000D Cordura, which is the best hardcore used fabric in the world to less expensive urban gray for city use. The point is there's something for everybody in the Hazard 4 Pillbox family. Well, there you go, guys, your three minute review on the Hazard Hazard 4 Pillbox, if you found this review to be helpful, hit the like button down below. If you're currently not subscribed to the channel, hey guys, we'd appreciate if you subscribe to the channel. And while you're at it, hit the bell to be notified as we come out with new videos. So with that said, my friend, you get out there and take your best shot.